Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> oh, there you go. <laughs> What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. Yeah, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Poor favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Okay, Kim, folks, weirdos, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh man. So, Queen Kamala has finally picked her VP. Yeah, good for her. Now, this is not the guy she really wanted. She really wanted Mr. Josh Shapiro from Pennsylvania. And before he was announced, somebody from his staff leaked the video. We're getting behind Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris for president. And Josh Shapiro. Josh Shapiro? Josh Shapiro for vice president. Now we need you. Let us and Kamala Harris know you stand with her. Together, we can do this. We are one city. One region. One region. And so the crazy pro Hamas folks got wind of this and they kind of threatened Kamala. They say, if you pick Mr. Josh Shapiro as your VP, we're not voting for you. Kamala Harris is thinking about having Josh Shapiro, the governor of Pennsylvania, as her vice president. And we need to be very, very, very loud about the fact that she should not do that because Josh Shapiro fucking sucks. I'm gonna be honest, all of her options for VP kinda suck right now, but Josh Shapiro in particular compared pro-Palestinian campus protesters to the KKK. The man's a monster. Sapiro also supports a bill that would financially punish colleges that chose to divest from Israel. We were able to push Biden off the ticket because we were loud about it. We can keep this guy off the ticket by doing the exact same thing. Now that the radical left have gave Josh Shapiro the heave ho, now they can get along with business, right? But there's one thing they forgot. Come a little closer. Let me tell you something. Her husband is also... I'm not going to say what race, what people, you know, I can't say that. Yes, yes. What you going to do about that? Hmm? Kamala, are you going to divorce your husband for some votes? Hmm? You going to give him the heave-ho too? <laughs> Unbelievable. Well, we all know that Queen Kamala is cringy. Every time she's on the phone, it's just cringe. It looked like a stage with the moment she was on the phone with her uh, president. It is so good to hear our president's voice. Joe, I know you're still on the on the call, and we've been talking every day. Um, you probably, you guys heard it from Doug's voice. We love Joe and Jill. We really do. They truly are like family to us. And we do, everybody here does. It's neutral. <laughs> I knew you were still there. You're not going anywhere, Joe. Oh, I'm watching you, kid. I'm watching you, kid. I love you. I love you, Joe. Oh. When she was getting the phone call from President Obama, look at this cringy shit here. Kamala. Well, hi. Hey there. Oh, hi. You're both together. Oh, it's good to hear you both. I, I, I can't have this phone call without saying to my girl Kamala, I am proud of you. This is going to be historic. We called to say Michelle and I couldn't be prouder to endorse you and to do everything we can to get you through this election and, and into the Oval Office. Oh my goodness. And now this. She called her VP and ugh, this is cringy. 
Hi, this is Tim. It's Kamala Harris. Good morning, Governor. Good morning, Madam Vice President. Listen, I want you to do this with me. Let's let's do this together. Would you be my running mate and let's get this thing on the road? I would be honored, Madam Vice President. Uh, the joy that you're bringing back to the country, the enthusiasm that's out there, uh, it would be a privilege to take this with you across the country. Well, let me tell you, I have just the utmost respect for you. I have really enjoyed our work together. You understand our country. You have dedicated yourself to our country in, in so many different and beautiful ways. And we're going to do this. We're going to win. And we're going to unify our country and remind everyone that we are fighting for the future for everyone. <laughs> She's such a tryhard. <laughs> Unbelievable. Anyway, while she's trying to manufacture some votes and likes, we have Mr. Trump over here, crisscrossing the country, doing interviews here and there. He even stopped by Aiden Ross, his platform. You're probably like, what the heck is going on here, huh? Yeah, what's going on here? What's, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> well, today is going to be the most important stream I've ever done, first of all. Wow. And I want to say thank That's you great. for doing this, seriously. Thank you. Yeah. Um, get some good ratings today. We're right? gonna get some good ratings. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone thought this was gonna be fake today, but uh, you know we proved them wrong. So. Well, no, you're right in the living room of Mar-a-Lago, <laughs> which I don't allow this to be ever done. So you're the you're the first, just about. Thank you. And uh, we'll have a little fun today. Let's and do my it. son Baron says hello. He's a great young guy, but he's a big fan of yours. What's up, Baron? Yeah, Baron. Baron's awesome. He's a great yeah. kid. Amazing. He's, he's tall. Guy. Very tall. He's tall. Good. Good student. Yeah. Yeah. He's good very boy. smart. I'll tell you that. Yeah. I do want to first off, you know, say this, um, you know, everyone in the chat, everyone in this room, everyone loves you. And um, I just want to say you're, you're a true hero for this country, and I, and I really appreciate you. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm again, I'm really thrilled we could well, do this today. I'm so happy now that I'm doing it. <laughs> give, me, give me a hand. That's great. Mr. Aiden Ross is the biggest streamer online. He had 500,000 views live views while Mr. Trump was doing his interview. Unbelievable. Aiden Ross is only 23 years old, I believe. I didn't know nothing about Aiden Ross until I saw him uh, did a little kerfuffle with um, a Andrew Tate. You know, he almost got Andrew Tate click, click back on the clicker. But, um, yeah, Aiden, Ro Aiden Ross is the biggest streamer, and Mr. Trump went over there to talk to the Generation Z folks. I'm unfamiliar with exactly what it was called. You were speaking on stage uh, with three other uh, yeah. women, and you just got ambushed. They were late, and not a hi, hello, how are you? Just straight into it, just straight trying to rip you apart. And I think you handled it pretty well, but uh, I wanted to ask you a question. Like, wh why do you think, like, they just straight up do that for you, but then they're going to ask the other side, oh, what's oh, your favorite flavor of ice cream? That's right. Well, no. <laughs> Well, I did this as a favor. This was the black journalists. Uh, the room had maybe 2,000. They said 2,000. It looked more like 1,000 to me, but whatever it was, it was packed. Yeah. And I did it because I thought it was a good thing to do. And they had a uh, journalist. I don't know. I didn't know who she was, but she was nasty. She was a terrible person. And I walk in, and instead of saying, hello, thank you very much for doing this, they also said, Kamala is going to do it. But then Kamala said, I want it. she wants to do it because she can't talk to people. She can't answer questions. She hasn't done one interview. You know, she's not doing any interviews. Yeah. Because she, if she did one interview where a hard question's asked, she's incapable of answering it. Most people said, why are you doing it? I feel I have an obligation to do it. I want to look with it. You become the president for all of the people, right. not for a certain segment. Correct. Not even for just my, you know, they talk about my base. It's a very big base. But... You become president for all of the people. So I feel you have an obligation to do that. Now, she's not doing anything. She's not doing any interviews. Now, you journalists, you people need to take some notes from Mr. Aiden Ross. He has a president there, and he gave the guy a gift. I open it? You should open it oh, and wow. then show the camera. That's, That's a great watch, actually, good company. They're good company. You like Rolex? They like Jack Nicklaus and Gary Player and Arnold Palmer and all the... The golf guys and all the other guys, too. I do. This is beautiful. Wow. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't they have nice packaging? They do. Really, really nice. Wow, that's so nice. Oh, should I show that to the audience? Yeah, they can see it. <laughs> Not only a Rolex, he also gave Mr. Trump a Elon. 
Congratulations. All right, well, uh, you can already see the gift. Yeah, I can. Wow. <laughs> you can't miss it. That's an Elon. It is an Elon. Wow. Shout out to Mr. Uh, Musk. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, oh. that is beautiful. Am I going to close the, uh, the door really quick? Just I want to yeah. show them the wrap. Sure. Check out this wrap and let me know your honest thoughts. I, I think it's incredible. <laughs> I think it's incredible. Go to the front. Wow, wow, wow. What a gift to give somebody. Unbelievable. Now, you other journalists that are like the N-A-B-J, you should take some notes how to be gracious. Meanwhile, we have Kamala still trying to manufacture some votes and likes. She had the blacks for Kamala. She had the white dudes for Kamala. She had the white women for Kamala. She had the drags for Kamala. All of it couldn't match the numbers of Aiden Ross, 500,000 live views. Pretty good, huh? Where's the camera at? Oh. That's a little bit. I'll tell you about TikTok. <laughs> Trump is going to keep TikTok going when it's Biden and Paris. They have no idea what it means. And all it's going to do is be good for China the other way. It's no good. We're going to keep, we're going to save TikTok. They want to destroy TikTok. So all the people on TikTok vote for Trump. Vote for Trump. So we already see the popular vote is going towards Trump. Ain't no way Kamala is going to be him. The popular vote. I don't think a Republican won the popular vote in forever. So. I can't wait to see this goddamn debate. What's going to happen, right? The debate that Trump um, put out there for September 4th, Kamala's not going to show up. She's not going to show up. We all know she's chicken shit. But Trump is going to go there and probably have a town hall or something. The September 10th, that debate, Trump is not going to show up for that one. I think he should send his lightweight, Mr. J.D. Van, to go debate. Kamala, because she needs a lot of practice. And why don't you start off with J.D. Vance? He's younger. He don't know what he's talking about. He's a Neanderthal. He's an idiot. Surely Kamala could handle a 39-year-old J.D. Vance, right? You're right. Anyway, that's my thoughts for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my ladies and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you socialists, get your ass off my lawn.